Hey everyone, so today we're going to make a ground crack effect. So this is usually seen in games when using like an earth spell attack. So we're going to model it. So we're not really going to do anything with um, shaders. So it's going to be, it's not really that complicated. So to get started, we're going to add in a plane. And we're going to go to edit mode. And let's go to top view. And we're going to them to merge all the vertices to the center. And now from here, we just have to select our vertices and just model model the shape of the crack. So like this. This. And we also we're just gonna extrude each point and model each branch that comes out. I'm just gonna do this a few times. I'm not really following any type of reference here, eyeballing it. If you have a reference, you should you can follow that. Alright, I think this is good enough. So next, we're going to add in a modifier to all these. So right now it's just points. So let's add in a order modifiers tab and add in a spin modifier. This will give us some depth to our tracks. So now we want all the endpoints be sharp and not like a square block like this. To do that, we can select the point, open our menu here, and then there's a radius section here, and this you can change the radius of the x location or the y location. In our case, we want both to become zero. We want the point to like that. Let's Select all the vertices. Go into wireframe mode so we can see the points better. Select all these and then just turn to zero. Okay, and now we have we have this. Now we also can basically manually out these edges here by making it uh, bigger or smaller from the radius. So the shortcut you know, instead of going here would be Control A. We do Control A and you know, smaller down here. You can do this for every point that you want. You want the middle one to be a little bigger, smaller. smaller well, let's grab this one out more move this out just change the model as we go Okay, so now we can also do some proportional editing too by turning proportional editing and then in control A and then we can scale from the inside out, make it bigger. Usually the middle part is, is bigger and then it just branches out. This. Alright, so that's pretty much the basic model. Nothing really much to say about this. Let's smooth it. 
Okay, so now we can um, add in a shader to make it some color. Let's go to our shading tab and add in a new material. Let's delete our intro PSDF and let's add in an ambition shader and a color ramp. Color, and then we're going to add in a layer weight node. We connect all these together. All right, so let's add in some colors. So I'm going to pick yellow and orange for my colors. Yellow is here, and then here, maybe orange. Orange. And it's green. Then we can turn off the strength of our emission. And we also want to have Room turned on, and also make the color management to standard. See the no colors. Okay. Okay, so if you want to animate this, usually it's going from inside out. Um, you can make it appear from the middle and then branch out. So to do that, So to do that, we're going to add in a transparency BSDF, and we're also going to add in a mix shader. We're going to use transparency for this. Let's plug this in. And for this to work, we have to make the blend mode to alpha blend. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to add in a vector mass node and a math node, and also a texture coordinate. So we're going to use the object texture coordinates. We're going to change this to length, and change this one to less than. Let's see if this works. So the stretch hole would, we're going to, it might have to increase it, it's going to go out from the middle. And we're going to use this as our factor in our mixed shader for transparency. All right, so right now it's the transparency is at 0.5, but if we increase it, then it goes up. Alright, so if you want to, so if you want to keyframe this, what we're going to have to do is let's bring up a keyframe in our timeline. In our timelines, we can have this to this should be zero. Maybe just to zero, and then we're gonna add in a keyframe. And maybe 40 frames later. We have it really around here and the keyframe. We can change this to 20. And if you press play, have this. That's pretty much basically the whole effect. Not really that much. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.